Michael, I don't know how she even knows what that is. Do you call me a psycho when you're not yeah. around me? No, not at all. We have plenty of parking. I have a lot of parking. Well, it's Wednesday. All right. Okay. Let's, we should get... We already speeded, right? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, we've been speeding. We got that all whole right. combo. Great. <laughs> well, that's perfect then. When do you park your car? Um... Hi! It's Kaki here. Today we're going to work on a song called Playing With Pink Noise. The song itself, the title comes from a friends of mine in a band uh, called Pink Noise. And um, a really cool band, and I really, really liked them, and I saw that another friend of mine was going to be on the same bill as them in some city. And I, and I wrote to her and I said, hey, I see that you're playing with Pink Noise. And some, for some reason I just thought, that's, a, that's kind of an interesting title, I'm going to save that one. I don't know what that means. Um, and ultimately that became the title of this song. Pink Noise is actually a phenomenon in, um, it's a little, it's kind of similar to white noise. There's a lot of, it's weird, you should look it up. It's sort of involves some chaos theory, um, like a graph of points can actually be pink noise. And, um, so anyway, it's just, a, it's a cool idea. It's a cool thing. It is an actual sound, um, if you want it to be. And so, uh, yeah, thus, thusly was the song named. Cut. A lot of this technique I get from playing drums, so I'm going to explain to you what's happening on each hand. Here's our tuning. We've got C, G, D, G, A, and D. C, G, D, G, A, D. Cool. All right. So once again, the unorthodox technique of taking the left hand from underneath the neck and putting it over the neck. So essentially what's happening is that the left hand is doing something fairly simple and so is the right hand. And I am interlocking the rhythm. So think of it as like downbeats and upbeats. Left hand's got a downbeat, right hand's got an upbeat. And they go back and forth, back and forth. First we're going to focus on the left hand. and. The only thing the right hand needs to do is it needs to mute the strings. And the way I do this is I take this part of my hand, this sort of fleshy part, and I put it down almost to the bridge, almost where the strings start. So when I pluck a string, I just get more of a muted sound as opposed to... Okay, so we're going to take this left hand and look at exactly what it does. On the E string at the ninth fret, it's going to hammer on with the index finger. And then it's going to pull off to the open note. And it's going to tap here and slap the neck of the guitar. So four things. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to look at the right hand. The right hand is so easy. All the right hand does is this. Let's try to put them together. Now you have to attack this really, really slowly. So basically we have eight things to do, eight accomplishments in this measure, in this basic, you know, little bit of, little chunk of a tune. And I want it to just, I want you to just count it out with me one after the other. We're just gonna really like talk it through almost. It doesn't even have to be in time. Let's try it. So the first thing is I'm gonna hammer on ninth fret, E string with the index finger here we go. That's one. So now my right hand has to do something. It's going to pluck that note. And then the third thing is the pull off. The fourth thing is a pluck in the right hand. So let's just examine those four beats. All right, let's look at the second half of our phrase. We know the right hand is just pluck, 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 pluck. And the left hand is gonna be doing this. So if I just say five, six, seven, eight, this will be five, six, seven, eight. So to put the whole thing together, this is what it's gonna be like. 7, 12, back to 9. All right!
right, now it's time in the show where we go to Khaki King's Magic Bag of Tricks. I have a magic bag and it's full of tricks and tips that I have gathered over the years that I find to be very useful. Let's see. We've got metronome. Okay, very interesting. This is an old metronome. This is how they used to do it back in the day. But frankly, I find that it's much easier to get a metronome app on your phone and just get on with your life. I think that anything is playable on guitar or any instrument at, this, at a very slow speed. But the point of a metronome is to get accuracy, to make sure that all the notes are even, that you're not speeding up at the end of the measure or slowing down, that everything is really, really even. So there you have it, playing with pink noise. And um, if you've enjoyed this, please watch some of the other videos. If you have questions, get to me through my website or through Twitter, at Khaki King, on Instagram, at Khaki Graham, on Tumblr, at Khaki King Tumblr dot, I don't care about Tumblr dot com. Um, <laughs>